Hi guys, today we're going to see how to create and configure an online reverse auction. With our Yeet Auctions for WooCommerce plugin, you can create two types of auctions. You can create the normal auction where the highest bid wins, or you can create the reverse auction where the lowest bid wins. Of course, this is not usually used for regular auctions with regular items, but it is used, for example, for freelance jobs. Like, let's say I have a startup and I need a designer to design my logo. That's it. So, I'm going to create a reverse auction with a starting price of $400. So, the first designer is going to offer $400 to create my logo, but the next one is going to offer $300 and so on. So, the lowest offer wins and gets to design my logo, and of course, I get to pay the amount that was offered. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. So we're going to see how to make that logo design auction possible with our Yeet Auctions for WooCommerce plugin. The auction is a type of WooCommerce product, so once we have the plugin installed and activated on our site, we're going to go over to Products at New and we're going to create that auction type product. So, first of all, we need to insert the title that represents the auction that I'm creating. It's going to be Logo Design for a Startup. We're also going to upload an image that represents this service that I'm requesting, like this one right here. And we're going to add a short description that explains the project in about two lines. Something like this. Italian startup is looking for a designer to create a logo and brand identity. The designer that offers to create the logo at the lowest price wins the auction. This means that that winner is the one that is going to be paid the amount that he offered to create that logo and brand identity. Now, the most important part, we're going to go over to the product data tab and we're going to select the auction product type. Of course, as soon as I change the product type to auction, we get all of these auction settings right here. We are not going to add an item condition here. This is optional. And right here for auction type, we're going to select reverse because we said that we were going to create a reverse auction. Now, make it sealed. What's this? If we enable this option, the auction we're creating will be sealed, meaning that the current bid will not be visible to bidders, nor will the list of bids that have been made for this service, okay? Then we need to set the starting price right here. So we're going to set the auction starting price to $700. So if a designer wants to propose designing the logo for $800, he is going to see an error message stating that he cannot offer more than $700 or whatever the current bid is. So the first offer can be a maximum of $700. Now for a minimum decrement amount, I'm going to add $20. This means that each bid must decrease the value of the current bid by at least $20. This way, if we have a first offer of $650, the next offer has to be at least $630. Therefore, users will not be able to make an offer of, for example, only $2 less than the previous offer. Then, the last option, auction dates concerns the start and end date of this auction. I'm going to start the auction now and I'm going to end it a week from today. Now the auction for this logo design project is ready to be published. We're going to publish this right here and we're going to see how it looks on my site. So, as you can see, this is all the information we added when creating the auction. Here's the image that we added, the title, logo design for a startup. Here's the current bid, which is the starting price, $700. This states that this is a reverse auction. Here's the short description. Here's the countdown. And here's where users can place their bids. Let's try and place a bid for $800, which is more than the starting price. 
and I get this error message, enter $700 or less to be able to bid. So since this is a reverse auction, no one can offer more than the current bid. We also set a minimum decrement amount, meaning that users cannot just bid 700 and then 695 and so on because there is a minimum decrement amount so let's try that as well we're going to place a bid for 700 dollars so now this is the current bid 700 dollars right here and i'm going to try and bid 695 there so i get another error message stating that i need to enter 680 or less to be able to bid this is because of that minimum decrement amount okay guys that's how you can create a reverse auction with our plugin i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video